Uh, and here we are, hitting the links. What a nice Red Leaf retrocast this is. 142, my theme pick. Very inspired by this theme pick, guys, with my current daily life. It is a golf episode. Ah, yes. That was a golf clap, just in case anyone heard it or no, didn't hear it. It had nothing to do with the crickets that were in my ceiling and wall. Of the jokes Indeed. you have heard. I was not yelling at my ceiling, Joey. You you calm down. All right? Yeah, you were yelling <laughs> at your walls. Yes, there's been a cricket in my ceiling and wall. One singular cricket for the last 48 hours, and I am going insane. <laughs> I mean, you hope it's just one. I mean, you guys heard it. You guys heard it before I started, and then I proceeded to walk over to the wall, <laughs> yell at it, and it stopped. Yeah, but that's the only one we've heard. There might be multiple. It's kind of. It's, I have to imagine just one. I had to look up like how long do they live without food and water? It's two weeks or ninety days. Oh no! <laughs> and you could always leave out some bug poison traps. That's what my landlord does around my place, and so it seems is, to work. I have those things out, but this thing doesn't grab it. Oh, that's bullshit. <sighs> <sighs> It's a smart cricket. Everyone hates the smart cricket. What is that? Twisted metal villain? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Joey, you watched Twisted Metal. That was kind of our last episode. I discussed what the TV show was. You watched the whole thing. What would you think? Yep, I liked it. Uh, definitely. It's kind of a setup season. Yep. So. Okay. Exactly what I said. Yeah, I, I liked it. And I'm looking forward to season two. All right. What's everyone everyone been up to? I've uh so I for the sake of this episode, I went and played real golf. Yes, I know, crazy. Uh-huh. And I shot my personal best this afternoon. So much so, I went and played drunk golf for the back nine. Hell yeah. Hmm, interesting. The back nine did not go as well. <laughs> You may be shocked to hear. <laughs> Imagine that. Yep. That's what I did. I shot a uh, 43 on the front nine for what that's worth to you guys. But keep that what's in mind. The, Personal best, and I'm a beginner limit? of less than four months. There you go. What was the stroke limit? Well, I played uh, bogey of every single hole except one. And that was hole six. I got a par. So bad. Cool. Very consistent. I heard the cricket chirp. It's chirping, guys. You guys hear I it? I don't hear anything. You guys I hear it when I talk? Yet. Nope. No, I don't hear it. Oh, okay. Good. Hopefully the audio does not pick up those that, that chirping. I will let we'll you see. know though. We'll see. If you guys hear it in the audio. It is due to my mental health breaking <laughs> because of this cricket. And we will and we are here to enjoy it. Okay. Where's my popcorn? All right. So besides the golf, I have quote unquote beaten Pikmin 4. Okay? Ew. Yeah, I beat the game. I saved Olimar. Got him away from that despicable disease he had. However, the post game, let's call it New Game Plus, is just more game. And I'm talking okay. like legit story reasons. So, because I was thinking, I'm 25 hours into this game and I go, okay, I kind of want more of this game. How do I get more of this? Do I just got to keep going and try to 100% a level? No. They introduced another story element to save your companions, as well as, as I found out, as I played another hour uh, to do that, they want you to replay all of Olimar's story crash landing on the planet, just like the very first Pikmin game that we played here on this podcast. Okay. So, there's at least... Seven more hours of this game. It's insane. There's so much content. Big thumbs up from me. 
Cool. Yeah. Difficulty wise, it's a Nintendo game. It's Pikmin. You get what you're kind of going into and and expect, but that's where we're at. Colin, what have you been playing? Uh, mostly uh, Spider Man on PS4 by Insomniac. Good game. I, I got inspired for it when we played Ratchet and Clank three last cast. I've kind of put Returnal on the back burner. And also more more uh, Smash Ultimate story mode here and there. And I've been playing Castle Crashers with my nephews. They still really like that game. Turns out uh, my brother and his wife ended up getting a Switch of their own. Seems to be the OLED version. And now the boys want to play Lego Jurassic Park, of all things. So, I shall oblige. I haven't oh God, tested it out yet myself. Is loud as ever. Yep, I hear it. Oh, go yell at your walls again. <sighs> All right, hold on. I'm going to go yell at my wall. Hold on. We're doing this live. Okay. Fuck are you? Shut up! <laughs> Oh, lordy. How much you want to bet it's a remote-controlled co- remote robot? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> sent as revenge. That would be yeah. great. Drive him insane. Almost back. Huh. We're theor- we were theorizing that it was a remote-controlled robot somebody sent in to get revenge on you for who knows what. Oh. I might prefer that at this point. <laughs> Yeah, at least that you could take out with an EMP pulse or something. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd probably fry your consoles at the same time. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Well, if I unplug them, would they be affected? Eh, probably would. (laughs) Probably. Oh, excuse me. (sighs) Ha! Joey! Yes. Baldur's Gate 3? No. No. No, I'm not big on turn base, so I probably won't play it. Mm. Dave the Diver? Uh, I haven't played since it won't load the next day, so I'll probably get back into it after I restart. Ah! The update fucked you? Is that what you're saying? I don't know if it's an update or what. I just, for some reason, won't load the day. Every time I try to go diving, it just freezes, so Mm. might be corrupted and I just have to start over no biggie but i put a lot into it so i'm gonna wait a little bit and come back to it but i did play and beat uh ratchet and clank rift apart hey so shout out to the last episode excellent stuff yeah it didn't just it made me want to play it so i did and it, it was fun i did like that you get to keep your weapons between the two of them i would would have put the game away if i had a have separate weapons for each character. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, uh, nice, a I, nice little touch I, 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 the game had. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, and then I got uh, Sniper Elite 5 and beat that. That oh was a lot God, of fun killing Nazis. the shit out of some games. Yeah, all because of the other thing I got into is Zwift, which is Swift with a Z. So I got a smart trainer for my bike so I can ride inside and not die from the heat because it's Trying to kill me every day now. Wait, Swift with a Z? How does that work? Yeah, Z W I F T. Zwift. Zwift. It's a. That's weird. Okay, okay. So for those that are wondering of at my confusion, uh, I speak German. (laughs) So (laughs) the Z W is like backwards, kinda, because the Z would be a T sound and a. W would be a V sound. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so lost in this. It's wild. You br- you literally broke my brain for a second. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. That and the cricket in my wall. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been doing this, trying to get back into shape because I want to ride my bike more, but I don't want to ride in 100 degree weather. 
So I got an indoor trainer. I've been riding with this, and it's kind of a, it's more for training for road bikes and whatnot, but it's kind of gamified. So you get points as you ride more, and there's races, but I'm not ready for races. So I've been doing this for a little bit, and then I get tired, and I just sit on the couch, exhausted, and that's usually when I was playing the other games. Hmm. Okay. Colin. Yes. Got anything else to add? Well, I started watching Future Boy Conan here and there. Okay, this you have to mention, even though this is not the anime podcast here on Red League Retrocast, I must know. What are your thoughts? I'm about six episodes in, and I'm really liking it. Hell yeah. It's giving me so many flashbacks to Castle in the Sky and Naujika. What the fuck is Future Boy Conan? So, it's an, uh, Studio Ghibli has a director. He made all these movies and stuff. And uh, before Studio Ghibli was a thing officially, he had a show that went on TV in the 70s called Future Boy Conan. So, it's essentially a 26 episode show in the vein of the movie genre of what he was familiar with man versus nature and all these things. It's extremely good. Yeah. Sort of a. Post a post nuclear war type deal. All these people living on these scattered islands, and this uh, this kid's living with his grandpa on an island in the the hollowed out ruins of a of a rocket. And then, at some point, this girl who can communicate with birds comes to the island, and then she gets captured by these this big army from this. Me- mechanized island and then a whole whack load of seafaring adventures come about as a result. And I am quite enjoying it. Any questions, Joey? <laughs> no, that just makes sense. Right. Of course it does. <laughs> you must watch it. It's it's uh it's probably the best show from 1970 to 1983, I would say. And it's worth your time. I praise. Yeah. Okay. I will play a drop and we can get into talking some golf games. And uh, don't be shocked if this is short. <laughs> We're doing more than two yeah. for a reason. Here we go. Drop playing. Okay. All right, repetition music, there you go. This was my theme pick because I am really into the sport these days. I've picked it up full time, essentially, and I played it uh, before this podcast, and I've had the tequila flowing, guys, if you couldn't tell. Oh, we can tell. Ever had Casamigos tequila there, Joey, Colin? No. Nope. Don Julio, ring a bell? No. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. What's your opinion on Don Julio, Joey? I don't, don't? know. <laughs> if your opinion is not, it definitely improves your golf game, you should drink it, then uh, I don't want to hear it. So, the first game on the docket... Because it is golf games. I have picked five games to go with this. The first one is the Wacky World of Miniature Golf on the CDI. Is this the first game on the CDI we played on this retro gaming podcast? Can anyone confirm that? I believe I so. it is. Yeah, I've never heard of the CDI. So You've never heard of the CDI. Okay, imagine a VCR that can play CDs. <laughs> Yes? No? Yes, sure. Okay, all right. So it's a shittier 3D. I got it. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, sure. It is uh, It is definitely well, not the best thing I'm in the, the world. 
treat this quote unquote game the same way, it's shit. Oh, it's hard. It is, it, it is a hard game. It's not even a golf game, okay? It's it's a timing game. Yes. Yeah. You have to literally Maybe. get frames down to play the game. And even that's not entirely reliable. Sometimes it's just flat out luck. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's a lot of just time action animation. And there's, I mean, you can have multiplayer, but really it's a comedy game with golf as the theme. And like you said, yes, it's timing based, but it still has a luck factor to it. So what's the point then? Yeah. I mean, some of the animations can be funny. Like when you hit the ball into an oil can, it sprays it everywhere, and then a bunch of bikers slip and crash on it. Well, I mean, that's the... Out of me. Right, that's, that's kind of the point to the quote-unquote game, is you're playing for these wacky animations. And Eugene Levy's voice. Right. Colin, the, the explain who narrator. Eugene Levy is to the audience. He's the dad in American Pie. There you go. I fail this game. <laughs> oh, I fail it. Pretty fucking easy. Yeah. All right. Wacky. Wait. Okay. Wacky World of Miniature Golf came out in 1993. <laughs> there you go. And the. And the Game Grumps played it in... Sure, yeah. Six years ago. 2017. Oh my god. And All it right. was hilarious. Alright, so we move up from the CDI to the 3DO. The next game is by TE Soft, published by Panasonic. <laughs> Came out in 94. It is Pebble Beach Golf Links on the 3DO. Should have known we hadn't seen the last of that thing. We have not seen the last of the 3DO. Aren't you excited? Joey, what did you think of this 3DO golf game? It's somehow more boring than real golf. (laughs) Colin? Well, the old style graphics reminded me of Microsoft Golf on like Windows 3.1. Damn it. Although those graphics were actually smoother, whereas I, these look more like SNES Star Fox graphics. Uh, yeah, they, they, the, the frame rate was quite bad. Yes. <laughs> so for shits and giggles, I put up my NES game that's literally called Golf. And I went, I wonder if the frame rate and interaction is better than that. And it is. Uh, this Pebble Beach Golf Links game is an atrocity on the game of golf. It's so <laughs> slow, too, even yes. with the SO frames. And then it's so silent, unless you make, like, a decent shot, then maybe they'll cheer, and you're like, this is... Oh, yeah. You get is... 10 feet from the pin, they go, ooh. <laughs> and there's there, there's the most sound you'll get the entire game. <laughs> well, I can't say I've seen another golf game where you can choose your caddy. Oh, does it make a difference in your feel of the game? No. It does not. Fail. Well, you picked the wrong caddy. Like, what's wrong with you guys? Yeah, well, clearly. Uh, fail. <laughs> oh, I fail. Easy fail. Okay, we're off to an 0-2 start for golf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting a little bit more recent here. We got Hot Shots Golf on the PlayStation, known as Everybody's Golf in Japan, and basically everywhere else. came out in 1997. It is by, uh, let's see, uh, published by Sony, developed by Camelot Software. That is a distinguishing factor here, but a um, little more arcadey. A button press for power, button press for accuracy to get into a point. You have extremely... Uh, forgiving factors to the hitting. Uh, And then if you want to press up or down on the D-pad or left and right, there's your spin factors. And then when you get into the green, there is very telling uh, slope 
tellings uh, that can get you into the hole. What did you guys think of Hot Shots Golf? I liked it. It made me realize that golf games haven't really become that more advanced since, what, 1997? Uh, right, because you played the PGA game recently. Yeah, and it's only like, of course, they've polished a lot of the stuff, but there's not that much right. different mechanics from hitting the ball. Right, the, the mechanic factor uh, was my big takeaway as well. Uh, unless you're putting the right analog stick involved, which this game did not have at the time. Yeah, but of course they've added more to it, but you can still play like this in the modern games too. Yes, exactly. To make them easier for yourselves. Colin, your thoughts over everybody's golf. Well, I couldn't find a copy of this, so I watched What do you mean you couldn't find a copy of this? It's on the PlayStation. That's it. It's everyone's golf. It's everyone's golf. How does everyone not play it? You're everyone. (laughs) <laughs> and don't you forget it. Oh. I, I am everyone and I am no one. Oh. That's deep. <laughs> I'm like an agent from the Matrix. You guys notice this cricket has not said a thing since I started yelling at my wall in the middle of the podcast? <laughs> yeah, because now he knows it lives with a crazy person. That's right. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's done its job. <laughs> It's officially driven you batshit crazy. Right. I would I would I would tell you my big factor that could be a detractor in everybody's designs. The course designs is what I said. Okay. That is my negative on it. Are they interesting enough for the arcadey style of play? Eh, probably not. You can see that. They're just basic golf courses. It's very much a pick-up-and-play kind of game, is what I got. Yeah, which I like. Yeah, from a beginner perspective, sure. I will pass this game generously. I will pass it as well. Yeah, I give it a pass. Hey, I mean, we got we're, we're one fun. out of three. All right. We move on. Mario Golf N64, the first of the golf franchise from the Mario characters, came out in 1999, two years after Everybody's Golf. Developed by, I shit you not, Camelot Software, the same fucking company. Published by Nintendo. That makes sense. I was going to say, this is Nintendo's Hot Shots Golf. It is the exact same thing. I have nothing else to say out of it other than it's Hot Shots Golf with Mario characters. That's literally what my note says. Not that different from Hot Shots. I didn't even look who made it, so that explains it. It explains everything. Why discuss further? I pass it, and if you want Mario characters or you have an N64, there you go. Hey, you didn't play with Charlie? I think that was his name. I did not play with Charlie. (laughs) Idiot. Well, what's so... Good about Charlie, Joey. Uh, he's good enough to be in a Mario game and not be a Mario character, so uh, <sighs> kind of the best there is. Well, why the fuck isn't Charlie in Smash Bros? Then, no idea. We should get Charlie in the Smash Bros. Charlie in the Smash Bros. There you go, Colin. What's what's your opinion? Huh? This one I actually did play. Ooh, and yeah, I really liked it. I mean. The hits of the ball are very satisfying, just like hot shots. Just like me in real life. And, yeah. Right down the center of the fairway. I, I will tell you, I got my personal record today, and then I looked at the stats. 100% of my fairways. Mm. Just like Mario yes. on this course on the N64. 100% great. Ah. Did you just not count the time where you weren't on the fairway? No, I was... A hun- look... If I if if par threes counted for fairways, then uh, that would be a no. But they don't because it's a par three, so it's green and regulation only. Therefore, hundred percent, go me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I heard that if you play multiplayer with other people, you can actually taunt the other players while they line up their shot. See, <laughs> just like, like real basketball. life. We're drinking beer. Isn't we're talking that- shit. 
We're just going Steve Perry, just like real golf. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think I would watch golf if they allow the psycho, the person hitting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Give me basketball <laughs> of golf and I'll watch it. Yeah. Tiger Woods yeah. is up and you just go, mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, watch out. Your wife's behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Patrick Cantlay's up. Five, four, th- boom. Oh, you took too long, Cantlay. I'm so sorry. All right. Good golf uh, jokes. Okay. I pass Mario Golf since I passed Hot Sauce Golf. Yeah, I passed this one. Yeah, pass. Here we go. Tiger Woods Golf 1999. We're almost at the turn of the century here. Came out on Windows in 98. November 23rd, 1998, on the PlayStation, developed by Adrenaline Entertainment, published by EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports paid almost $10 million for the rights for several years, spanning these multiple platforms. And it paid off, because Tiger Woods went fucking insane in the late 90s, early 2000s, and everyone flocked to buy in these games. So they made their money three fivefold over, despite the enormous rights fees they had to pay. They really took a gamble, and Tiger Woods paid off. He won the Masters. He won the U.S. Open. He won everything. Therefore, gaming buy rates went up like it's a wrestling term. Yeah, but you know what he okay. didn't win? Having a good game. This game sucked. This game was not great. <laughs> The the I real people okay. looked so bad. It was not good. It was not good. It was like cheap VHS entities in front of you. The audio was the audio was muffled all the time, and I couldn't believe it. The actual like mechanics of Mario and Hot Shots were They're better. Were <laughs> better than the game that was supposed to be made. And you know what? Lest we forget. The 3DO was an EA Sports like exclusive console for a while. So our game we played, the Pebble Beach Golf Links, was kind of an EA Sports first entity try of these kind of games. I I was actually amazed about how bad this game was. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't like think it was terrible. They cut randomly for some shots that then the like they didn't follow the ball all the time. Sometimes you would get to the green and then the ball would be coming from the left to land on the green. They were trying some cinematic thing that the engine couldn't track properly. Yeah. And the ball moved so slowly, it doesn't matter how hard you hit it, it just like just took its time to get where it needed to go. Yeah. I'm reading some wacky thing on Wikipedia here because I was just trying to get that for the uh, the year it came out, but it was it's saying that there's something filmed in the quality of like South Park type shit. And apparently, they did something in this that was in a South Park episode. This uh, they made fun of it. They made fun of a uh, Tiger Woods game where Kenny and Carmen were playing in, but they were playing. Kenny was his wife, and Carmen was Tiger Woods, and he had to get away from his wife. And he oh, crashed his car, oh, and then Kenny okay. swings the golf club at him. Gotcha. All right. Objectable to consumers. Okay. All right. So we got some controversy with some Tiger Woods 99. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Does, it, does that... <laughs> Pertain to later years, Tiger Woods with him with the DUI and his wife chasing after him. Yeah, because it wasn't it wasn't ninety nine. It was, I mean, this came out around that time. So what, two thousand? Oh, okay, it was right. Whatever, all right, so. all right, all right. I thought they so like. I, know, I thought the original South itself. Park like anticipated DUI, Dark Tiger Woods. No, no, no. This was just straight up. So I don't know what other controversy they would have early on, unless they made fun of it multiple times. Which I mean. At South Park, they could have. I mean, you could absolutely make fun of Tiger Woods multiple times over. It's pretty easy. Mm. Easy content. <laughs> Colin, you like this game? 
Well, I didn't hate it. No, all right. All right. I mean, I kind of like the visual style, and the soundtrack isn't bad. Kind of makes me want to go golfing for real. Oh. Yeah. I found the gameplay fairly easy to grasp, but then again, <laughs> it's pretty much the same across all golf games. Kind of, mm. yeah. Yeah, but I, I that really feel that Hot Shots and Mario kind of set the precedent for the controls. Yeah, I thought they were just way better. Yeah. I was able to make par on most holes and even a birdie at one point. <sighs> Man, wish I could do that. <laughs> I'm plus one right now for everything. Minimum. <laughs> I mean, it feels a little handholdy, but that's not a bad thing for someone like me who barely golfs at all. Let me tell you, if golf was a little bit more handholdy, I'd be playing a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Even more than you already do? Well, I'm trying to get better, okay? Practice makes perfect. I'm putting in the work, Colin. I'm glad you asked. I'm almost insulted that you insinuate that I'm not putting in the practice to get better. How could you insinuate that it's just natural skill about how good I am at less than four months? Unbelievable you are. I will neither confirm nor deny anything. Okay, all right. I will fail Tiger Woods 99 by EA Sports. Not in the game, I say. I fail it too. I pass it. Oh, all right. I mean, I didn't have to fight to get the timing right. <laughs> so what did you have to fight a, to get the timing right? What game was that? Parappa. But Parappa the Rapper is not a golf game. Doesn't matter. Mm. I keep having to fight that one to get the timing right. right. And that's always going to be my example. So our five golf games on the heels of the LPGA AIG Masters Tournament in uh, in England were the Wacky World of Miniature Golf on the CDI, piece of shit, uh, Pebble Beach Golf Links on the 3DO, less than a piece of shit, but still shit, Hot Shots Golf, Everybody's Golf on the PlayStation, Mario Golf on the Nintendo 64 and we get to our most recent release of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 99 on the Sony PlayStation. Colin, favorite and least favorite and your grades, sir. Well, favorite is uh, is Mario Golf, obviously. Mm -hmm. And least favorite, probably Pebble Beach. Ooh, Okay. I mean, at least, wa at least Wacky World of Miniature Golf will give you a laugh here and there. You know what? Right you are. Right you, are. you have convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> As for my tears, uh, Wacky World of Miniature Golf gets an F, and so does Pebble Beach. Hot <laughs> Shots gets a B, and Mario Golf gets a B, and Tiger Woods gets a C. All right. What say you, Joey? Do you agree with the Colin? Almost exactly, but hot shots over Mario Golf for right. the best. Of course, wacky over Pebble Beach, but yeah, Pebble Beach was boring and didn't make me laugh. And then I F F B B C. Oh, okay. We literally <laughs> all have the same grades of these games, and I also choose uh, Hot Shots over Mario, and Colin convinced me. Pebble Beach is worse than Wacky World, because Wacky World actually and, has some laughter to it for its atrocity yeah, I mean, it's a not terrible game. really a golf game, but yeah, it's better than Silence. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, okay. The best game was clearly Hot Shots, and the worst game was Pebble Beach on the 3DO. 3DO reigns supreme for worst games of all time. Always. Always. Who's shocked? Not me. <laughs> well, it just, it just means that the 3DO did its job in maintaining its reputation. Colin, you have the next theme pick. What is it, sir? It is. Was it really that bad? So get ready for more shit. My God. Join us next time. <laughs> I shall have my revenge.